From the very beginning, the iPad was designed to be very powerful, very capable, but also remarkably simple to use. So our goal was to take all the amazing things that you can do with a full-size iPad, but pack them into a product that is so much smaller. And that's what we did with the new iPad Mini. One of the things that makes iPads so incredible is that there's almost no end to what you can do with it. So when we decided to make the iPad Mini, we wanted to make sure it had all the features that make iPads so magical. We began with a display that has the same resolution as the iPad 2. So all your apps and content look and work the same way. And at 7.9 inches, it's small enough to fit in one hand, but it's still large enough to give you that rich, immersive iPad experience. It has a dual-core A5 chip for fast, fluid performance, both FaceTime and iSight cameras. It gets a full 10 hours of battery life, and it runs more than 275,000 apps made just for iPad. These aren't scaled-up phone apps. These are powerful apps that take full advantage of iPad Mini's beautiful display. You can access all your favorite music, movies, and TV shows from the iTunes Store. One and a half million books on the iBook Store, and over 5,000 magazines and newspapers on Newsstand. And another thing we're really excited about is that iPad Mini comes with FaceTime HD. Seeing your friends and family in high definition makes you feel like you're that much closer. If all that we had done was take the original iPad and just reduce it, all that you would be aware of was, was everything that was just missing. That there is inherent loss in just reducing a product in size. And what we did was we went back to the very beginning and we took the time to design a product that was a concentration of, not a reduction of the original. We felt strongly that 7.9 inches was exactly the right display size, but it became clear that we had to reduce the width of the borders so you can still pick it up and easily use it with one hand. We have continued to develop our unibody process. There are essentially two parts to the enclosure, the glass and the aluminium. And that junction where the two parts actually come together is incredibly important. The diamond cut chamfer meets seamlessly with the glass. And I think it's a beautiful detail that further reduces parts and actually makes it more durable. We also designed an entirely new smart cover for the iPad mini. By eliminating the separate aluminum hinge, we now essentially wrap the iPad mini in a single, simple colored material. The biggest challenge that we faced was incorporating all of these great features in a much smaller and lighter device. In order to do this, every part had to be custom designed, starting with the display. The glass on the front and back are only 0.2 millimeters thin. The touch subsystem is a mere 0.12 millimeters thin. It weighs half as much as any we've ever done before. Beyond the screen, we took some dramatic steps to maximize interior space. It has the largest and thinnest single cell battery we've ever designed. We've designed a smaller motherboard to house the powerful A5 chip and built in the new smaller lightning connector. We also redesigned the iSight and FaceTime HD cameras, and they allow you to take amazing photos in HD video. We've been able to build all of this technology into a device that is only 0.68 pounds and 7.2 millimeters thin. All of these efforts combine to make a product that is incredibly thin and light and has absolutely remarkable levels of fit and finish. And I think the result is an extraordinary iPad, one that will be used in so many different places in so many different ways.